What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how I do my stitching. There are many ways of stitching. What I'm about to show you is what I have learned. You need a wing divider. You need stitching irons. You need needles. You need a mallet. I'm going to mark the stitching line with the wing divider. You want to carefully align this stitching iron with the line you mark and make sure the stitching iron is perpendicular to the piece of leather. Tap it with the mallet. Now remember this, this is the front side of the leather, while this is the back. So this is my stitching pony. The length of the threads I'm going to need is about four times the length of the stitching line. For example, the stitching line is four inches long. Then I'm going to need 16 inches of threads. Okay, this is what I do. I always have the front side of the leather face towards my left. And I always start stitching from the outside towards myself. Okay, let's stitch. Get it through the first hole. Pull it on and make sure both ends with the same length. I'm going to start with the needle on my left hand. Put it through the second hole while using the needle on my right hand. Put it on top. Make it like a cross shape, pull it out, 
and turn 90 degrees. Use the right knee though to penetrate the second hole. While you're doing this, use the left hand to pull the thread a little bit. Make sure the needle won't get through the thread. And then what I do is I put these thread go around clockwise. The purpose is make sure the needle goes through the top of the thread and then I pull it out and pull both ends. There you go. Okay, let's do it again. Needle on the left hand, go through the hole. Needle on the right hand, put it on top, a cross shape, pull it out, turn 90 degree, go back to the hole while pulling the threads, go around clockwise, then pull it out, there you go. Let's take a look at it from the other side. Left hand, go through the hole. Right hand needle, put it on top, pull it out. Turn 90 degree, going back to the hole. Use this thread, go around clockwise. Then pull it. There you go, one more time. Left hand needle, go through the hole. Right hand needle, put it on top. Cross shape, pull it out. Turn 90 degree, going back to that hole while you pull the thread. Use the thread, go around the needle. Then pull it out. There you go. Very simple, very easy way to do the stitching. Now you know everything about how I do the stitching. Okay, on the front I got this zigzag pattern. On the back, to finish your stitching, after the last hole. simply go back to the second last hole let's take a look at the back side now you can simply just to burn the end of the thread there you go then you put it on a flat surface tap it a few times with the mallet 
both the front and the back. Thank you for watching.